Hey guys, this is Pierre, and welcome to JavaScript tutorial number 14. Um, we've pretty much covered everything uh, I wanted to cover in JavaScript st right now. So, uh, what I'm going to be teaching in this tutorial is just uh, something that's common in a lot of websites, and that is button rollovers. Uh, so, if you don't know what that is, it's where you have a button and then when you roll over it with your mouse when your mouse say this is a button if I roll over it with my mouse it has some effect on the uh, appearance of the button let's say it lights up a bit or something like that so uh, um, really all button rollovers is down to is your creati creativity with images because um, doing the actual code to make the rollover work is really simple so uh, yeah um, I'm just going to be, I, I'm using paint for my rollovers, so they might look a bit crap, uh, for my buttons, rather, so uh, they'll look a bit trashy, but um, it's the basic principle that matters, really, anyway. Um, so, really simple, we've just got a basic page, um, and we can see we've got one image here. Before we look at this image, let's look at this code here. Okay, this is some JavaScript code, and this is the code that's going to uh, do the rollovers um, and change the images and stuff. Um, now, it's important to know when you have a rollover, you also need a roll off. A lot of people don't realize that if you just have an on mouse over event, and that changes the image to uh, a highlighted image like I suggested. Um, when you roll off, the image is going to stay the same, so you also need a, um, a mouse out. Um, event handler. So you've got the you've got two events basically. You've got the on mouse over and on mouse out. Um, now these are the two functions that are going to handle those two things. Uh, and the way I've done them uh, allows you to call the function on any image um, because we're grabbing when we call the function we're grabbing. Uh, an ID and an, a URL to the image. So basically, with those two things, we can call this these two functions on any image. Um, if we just had a function like uh, like this, if our function mouse over went like this, um, blah, blah, blah. okay, and some image equals image.jpg. Okay, if it if our function was like this, this would only work on one image because uh, when we call this image, uh, sorry, when we call this function, it's getting uh, the uh, element that has an ID of some image and assigning its source to image.jpg. And for that reason, it only works on one image. But with the functions we're using here we ask for an element ID and an image URL so then when we come to find the element by ID we supply the element ID that uh, we were given in the function uh, parameters and assign the source of that ID to uh, the image URL we were given in the arguments of the function so in this way we can uh, make sure it works for all images so don't use this use this okay so let's get rid of that now let's take a look at the image um, what we're doing here is we're doing an image remember you always have to assign a source because when you first load the page you want to have a starting image if you've just got no source and you've got the on mouse over blah 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 uh, you'll have to wait until they roll over that area and even so if you don't supply a source um, then uh, the size of the image will be zero zero so you probably won't be able to roll over it anyway so you always remember to assign a source and the source is going to be the image you use when you have the mouse out event okay um, you've got to assign the ID you don't really need to assign a name you can if you just find it good practice but you don't need to the only thing you must assign in this is the ID because remember when we retrieve the element in the JavaScript we are using get element by ID okay so uh, that's the only way it works now we've got these two JavaScript events uh, on mouse over and on mouse out 
Okay, these are the two things that um, allow us to do these button rollovers. Um, so basically, what this says is whenever our mouse goes over this image, we're going to call the function mouse over with the parameters my image and light.jpg. Let's take a look at our, f our function mouse over. We can see we're requesting an element ID and an image URL. Okay, so the first parameter here is supplying the um, Im the ID of our image here, and then this second one is supplying the image we want to um, assign to the source of this image, assign as the source of this image. So basically, what we're doing here is when we call ma mouse over, we're saying change the image of uh, the element. Uh, called my image to uh, the source light.jpg okay and it's a sim it's exactly the same with the old mouse out we're just calling the mouse out this time and same ID but this time we're giving the image URL thingy is going to be the image where there's no uh, highlighting or whatever uh, I probably explained that really crappily uh, but it's so simple that you guys should all be able to understand it um, so let's take a look at the page itself. We can see it here we've got the basic image. Uh, remember in the code the SLC was assigned to no light.jpg. Let's look at no light.jpg. We can see here that's what it looks like and they're exactly the same. That one and that one without hovering over it. Um, so now what should happen is when we go when we roll over it it should change to all green like you see here that's the light.jpg image okay so let's roll over it and voila it does that um so that's how rollovers work now i'm just going to i've made a little demonstration of how we would use them uh in an actual website um situation so just go into this folder called full and here we've got uh, sort of a basic um, structure of a website and rather than actually putting the code inside the uh, the page I've made a separate file called scripts.js and I'm not sure if I've t talked about this yet but you can actually have JavaScript files with the extension .js uh, and you can put all your JavaScript code in them and then whenever you want to use the code uh, I'll sh actually I'll show you how to do that in a sec uh, the only thing you need to know about JS files is that you don't put the script tags around it, okay, like that. Forget these. You only put the JavaScript code, okay? So, uh, when we want to use this code, for instance, we just do the script tag, type equals blah blah blah, and we supply a, an SRC, a source attribute, and we give the source attribute the path to our, to the JavaScript file we want to import. And just so you know, you have to close this tag as well. Uh, because it's a script tag, script tags have to close. They don't have a separate tag for importing uh, JavaScript files. And now we can use, you can see here, this thing is it's exactly the same as uh, this one here, um, except for this code is no longer in the actual page. We're just importing it here. And instead of one button, we've got two, and we've got a little uh, header here as well. So if you think about it, it's no different really. Um, and so let's go ahead and open up index.html. We can see we've got the header here, and we've got these two images. Let's take a look at and see if they, uh, they're the correct images. So it's the no light one, okay, that looks the same as that one, and no light two, that looks exactly the same. So it seems loading the images has worked because again we supplied the SRC uh, the source elements so we'd have a default image and then the mouse over we're just going to change it to from no light to light uh, so light and light 2 for each image and we've, if we scroll over we can see that one lights up as it's supposed to like that and this one lights up like that as it's supposed to uh, and these are also, I've also put um, anchors around these tags to make them, sorry, anchors around this these images to make them links. So if I click that one, I go home. If I click this one, I go about, home, about, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so um, basically, I th seems pretty, oh, okay, it was about 10 minutes, but uh, okay, I'm going to end this really quickly. Um, quick tutorial on button rollovers, over and out.